East Bay, the vastly successful In-N-Out chain will be closing one of its restaurants for the first time in that company's history. The Oakland restaurant along the Hagenberger Corridor is shutting its doors for good today. The company said it's doing it because of crime. It's Oakland's only In-N-Out location. A nearby Starbucks and Denny's have also closed because of crime. Despite that closure, two young entrepreneurs are opening up a new business, and John Ramos has their story. There's plenty of reason to believe that Oakland is a tough town to do business in, but a couple of young entrepreneurs say the secret to success may lie in understanding the city itself. Watch as people pass by the newest store on Lakeshore Avenue. They do a double take and then turn back. What exactly is that? It looks like a store, but it could be an art gallery. It's Marche, a vintage clothing store created by 20-year-old Ty Reno Sway and Marco Verdine, who's 24. Bringing a different type of retail, a new experience in, with brick and mortar and physical retail, that's like the goal. Used clothing is a popular trend among millennials, but the trick is finding just the right pieces. It's okay to be worn, even frayed, as long as it's something that expresses creativity and, more importantly, is one of a kind. But it really is a, is a piece of art itself and, and really like shows kind of your fashion taste and, and being different there. That's what's important and what's cool for a consumer is like, you won't see this at any other store for the most part. And, and it's just this one size and you hope it's your size. It's definitely an eye catcher. So these are original 501s from, I believe, 1968. These pants are actually from the summer of love? Most likely. <laughs> Someone's having fun with these, that's for sure. But as much as the business partners are peddling clothing, they're also trying to market their city as well. Both grew up in Oakland and are well aware of the crime that has driven so many businesses away. Directly across the street is Colonial Donut, a business that was infamously robbed three times in six months. But the guys are opening their new store here as a way to stand up for their hometown. Yeah, Oakland probably has one of the biggest hearts out. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. Like, defines us. Defines us, but it also shows like all the bad publicity and slander that people be like just saying about Oakland. Oakland's still here. People run with what they see on Instagram and on the news. They're like, oh, Oakland's only crime. But you, you come on a Sunday to Lake Merritt and you'll see families picnicking, people walking to the farmer's market, just a lively city that, that locals and real Oaklanders understand. And, and that's the message we want to bring to, to the bigger market and, and the rest of the Bay Area. And, nation in general. For young people who love the town, that's a pitch that is as appealing as the graphic tees and patched Levi's. I think there's a lot that we go through as Oakland residents and Bay Area residents. There's a lot of things that are being broadcast across the country and on the internet. Um, but, you know, we're still here and we still are living and breathing our inspirations and the things that really allow us to be a unique community. There are a lot of pressures on businesses these days, and to many, operating in Oakland is now seen as a liability. But as familiar names decide to cut and run, it only leaves opportunities for those who believe in the city to stick around and maybe even start something new.